You want to talk about the um, joys of online dating? Um, it's it's ridiculous. Um, as a 41-year-old woman, I am terrified. I'm lonely, but I don't think I'm that lonely. Dude, a 60-year-old man liked my profile, and it makes me... I think I'm going to cry. I'm 41. I'm not... Holy snikes. SOS sent help. Okay, let me be honest here. There is nothing wrong with her profile getting a like from a 16-year-old man unless she thinks her SMV is astronomically out of his league. Uh-huh, Cohen. You did notice uh, the ink work on your lip, chin, and chest, right? And all the hardware on your face, right? What I'm getting at is the irony of a 41-year-old woman who has the ink work and accessories of a 23-year-old woman is complaining about receiving a compliment from a 60-year-old man. Does she see the uh, double standard here? How about no? Okay, I don't want to call her delusional since I really don't know that much about her, but maybe, just maybe, her reaction to the 60-year-old gentleman that she put on blast can warrant at least an observation of uh, a tad bit of criticism. Either way, sister, I will say this ink is cool and all, but I am not blind to the uh, multiple messages made by my male viewers who say a woman with huge amount of ink work is a red flag. Moving on. I mean, dating after you are 40 years old is ghetto. Like, it's so ghetto. Especially if you're like a woman who's independent and got her own. I think the, the, the dating pool is way smaller for us. Like, I am so over it. I'm over it. I am 40 years old and I get it. I don't look like I'm 40. So I attract a lot of young men and like I am very vibrant and I listen to like reggaeton, trap, all that stuff that is like appealing to like the younger kids or whatever. But like even the dudes that are my age, like they're playing games. They're playing games like baby, I don't got time to be texting all day. Like plan something, plan something. Like, I don't got that time to be on the phone, texting back and forth, what you doing this, and like, plan something. Sister, you told 90% of my male viewers the types of guys you date in less than a minute. I mean, how do you get off to try and tell men to do better when you are attracting a particular type? How dare you? Okay, ladies, let me break this down to you. She attracts younger men because she is presenting herself with traits of women in a younger age bracket. Her thinking she looks younger has little to do with it. If you are in your 40s and you act like you are in your 20s, guess what? Young men in their 20s can understand, oh, uh, this is a uh, MILF I can uh, vibe with and uh, shack up with. On top of that, seeing the men her age text her all day and she demands them to plan something, sweetheart. You just told everyone you are shacking up with the uh, middle-aged Pookies and Ray Rays who got nothing but time to hit up the uh, women on their rosters. What else do you expect? Seriously, girl, do you think you would have these complaints if you were dating men who are professionals or own their own business? Let me put it another way. Maybe the guys her age that she is complaining about all have this one thing in common. Um, her. Hmm. Methinks accountability is not the strong suit here. Surprise, surprise, surprise. And don't even get me started with the age app. Do not. Even, like, app is deleted. I'm done with it. I gave it a good three months, tried it, and it was just, like, endless texting. Endless texting for nothing. Like, why are you on a dating app if you're not trying to meet people? For what? I feel like in this time, in this generation, men are just emotionally unavailable. They're just not, they're, they don't want to be emotionally available, especially when they meet a woman that is got her own, is successful, pay all her bills, is pretty, is knowledgeable. Like, what the F? What in the actual F? What in the actual F? I am just like over it. I am so done. Like, I don't want to date. Like, I'm done. Like, I hate dating. I don't, they want to talk to like multiple people and see which one, like, no, I am the price. Like, I am the price. You're not gonna try to play me around to see which one of these you're talking to is better than me. I'm better. Nah. Anyway, thanks for listening to my rant. I don't know who can relate, but I'm just so done. Like, I'm done. Dating in 2024 is ghetto. 
Oh my. Men just text on dating apps and it's impossible for a woman to ask a guy out on a date. That's just nutty. I mean, with the uh, intimacy liberation of the West, a woman can uh, do anything a man can do. It's impossible for a woman to say, hey, you know this coffee shop? Yeah, I go there on Tuesday mornings. I usually have a good 45 minutes available to, uh, those days if you want to uh, meet up there and chat. <laughs> Come on there, Miss Strong and Independent. Be a boss, babe, and ask a man out. What, you can go out and get yours at everything else in your life, but when it comes to uh, planning a simple coffee date, you fall apart? And I don't mean to uh, sound rude, but that attitude she has, along with crowning herself as the prize amongst women, is both masculine and unattractive. I'm not being insulting. I'm pointing out what men think when they see these videos. I am legit trying to help women out, but if you can't stop to recognize your faults, there isn't much help out there for you that can change things around in your dating life. Did this queen even notice how she self labeled here when she said men are comparing these 304s to see which one is better no i'm better yeah that right there is 100 classy where do i sign up <coughs> moving on hey y'all it's been a while i um have been out and about and doing my thing uh but just checking in some new things going on wanted to see what you guys thought um, I have been seeing a younger guy, about 10 years younger than I am, and he is, he's, he does okay for himself. He has a cute little house out in the country, and um, the truth is it's not my thing, and uh, he understands that and knows that I have a different background than he does, and I, um, I have a different net worth than he does and I know I'm going to come off like a b and sound like you know I don't have my head on straight but it's definitely a lifestyle change and I'm wondering if anybody's experienced this um I I really care about him and he really cares about me and we've we've done a lot of um chatting about this but he's probably not ever going to want to move out of his cute little house out in the country how many times have i said on this channel that regardless of women constantly saying that everything is about vibes love is super important men are the ones who hold things against women and whatever shaming language flavor of the month it is women's attitudes are predictable this decade's post-wall grand elder Coeen is dating a guy younger than her but no matter how much she cares with her all-important fifis she is giving a long-winded excuse why she can't settle for a guy who makes less than her ladies it's a reality that a man who makes six figures can easily date a younger woman who is a cashier, a theme park worker, or a waitress without giving the income disparity a second thought. But women, especially older women, demand long-term to be with a guy on her level. As if the income was some SMV equivalent between men and women. It's obvious the guy doesn't care about her money, but she obviously cares about his lack of money. I have said it before, women are not built to be long-term providers. Her money is her money. His money would be their money, and he doesn't make enough. <laughs> And I'm probably never going to want to move into his cute little house in the country. Um, just because it's, it, I'm really, I'm a Libra. I'm into my surroundings. I need to be, like, aesthetically happy. And there's a lot of work to be done. And I don't think it's going to get done. Um, so anyway, I know this is, like, totally superficial and stupid. But this is what's on my mind. And I wanted to get somebody's opinion. I don't need telling me I'm a and I need to be, you know, um, coming down off my high horse. I understand that people come from different backgrounds and do different things, and um, we all have to kind of make our way and feel right with who we end up with. So just, just checking. Anybody date younger people who might not be in the same financial spot as you and... Um, your comfort level with that um maybe guys are more comfortable with it just because it's the traditional role but um and maybe i'm not comfortable with it because it's not the traditional role i don't know i'm just asking it's it's what's on my mind and um 
There you go. And did you notice I didn't say um hardly at all? I'm so excited. I'm a Libra, drop the BS. A grand little post-war Cohen is way too old to be using that teenage horoscope excuse as if planets and stars that are billions of miles away have anything to do with you being stuck up. Anyway, there is a reality here this Cohen seems to want to ignore and it's what she sees every time she steps in front of a mirror. That is, she is not young. I am conscious that it is possible this guy was a player when he was young and is looking for the next broad to take care of him now that he is aging. Even if that were the case, she doesn't have uh, the most to offer out there to have her pick. In the guy's defense, he isn't planning to move out of his home, i.e. men are set in their ways. And let's not forget she is the one looking for an LTR to last the rest of her days. Also, Queen, have you accepted the uh, fact that it is highly probable there are more days in your past than there are ahead of you. Hey, all I have to say is sometimes you have to let go of uh, that roast beef energy and accept the good things you have in front of you. Either that or go uh, hit up Bill Gates. Maybe he will choose you over uh, Paula Hurd. <laughs> Moving on. At being over 50 and being single and trying to find someone compatible as a companion. I saw this video by one of my fellow collaborators and it broke my heart because what she wants to know is why is it so incredibly difficult for a woman over 50 to find a life partner or a companion. But the reason is mostly mathematical. Women don't walk away from relationships or marriages unless they're almost put against the wall too. Men are not very good at calling off relationships. So what they do is they misbehave and they abuse a woman until she walks away. And by the time that happens, because it can be years and sometimes even decades, men think that, wow, I can get away with behaving that way and women will put up with it. They don't understand that what happened there is that they had a truly committed partner that was trying everything possible to make that marriage or that relationship work. So they make it back into the dating scene thinking, oh, I can just find somebody else to put up with my BS. Here we are, women over 50 thinking, oh, I want a healthy relationship this time around. I'm not going to put up with someone bringing me down. I will no longer put up with abuse. And I want to live out the rest of my days in a happy companionship with a man that has emotional health. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Oh, that is rich. That is so unique. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it straight from this decade's post-war queen. Women divorce men because men abuse them. Oh, snap, it must be an unprecedented epidemic as 70% plus of all divorces are put in by women. That means the men in this country are overwhelmingly abusive. Oh my, is it wrong to say that uh, Usain Bolt speed has got nothing on women running away from accountability? Sweetheart, I understand that some men and women are physically abusive, but to drop a blanket statement like that is some next level bull crap. And if women were doing everything possible to make the marriage work, then it would more than likely work. But with an attitude like this, quickly labeling men abusive, yeah, that's not anything positive. Oh, and yes, Men who go through the uh, theme park rides of a divorce they didn't ask for, thinking exactly what this gem of a queen is professing. I mean, obviously those men wanted exactly that when their poor ex-wife victim got half of everything, the house with child support and alimony bonuses. The jig is up, gentlemen. She has all of you figured out, down to the T. My only question is, if men are so bad, why are these delicate 50-year-old female victims trying to get with another possible rotten man. But wait, there's more. And then quickly we realized that the only thing that's out in that dating pool is men with a huge amount of physical and emotional baggage. So if the sheer cesspool of single men over 50 doesn't appeal to you, and believe me, it doesn't appeal to me either, the solution is to have a life that's so rich and so happy and so full of people that are truly making a contribution to our soul that you decide that until a man that is suitable and that's going to make your life better than it is now turns up you're quite happy on your own i have a wonderful social life with good friends wonderful girlfriends that speak to my heart and my gay friends who just make the quality of my life 
much better than I ever thought I could. I have hobbies and interests and a life without restriction. Am I open to finding someone? Yes, of course. And in fact, I'm open to even finding someone younger than me. But he better come into this life to make my life better. And my life is pretty darn good as it is. And I hope you can get to a place where yours is too. That's right, Queen. Don't settle for no scrub. In fact, don't lower any of your standards, even a smidge. Trust me, you are doing a lot of men out there a big favor. Yep, because as this Coeen stated, it's obviously only the men that are damaged wrecks, while women are just perfect and have zero things they need to work on in order to do better in their next relationship. What am I saying? Do better. It's men who need to do better, and they have to accept women exactly how they are. If not, it's obvious that men over 50 just don't know how to love. This queen's life is going so awesome, she had to put on blast the extreme joy coming out of her or she might have exploded trying to contain all that energy. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. And of course, if any of you men out there are thinking of sliding into her DMs, you better come correct. You know what the saddest thing of all this is? There is no shortage of uh, the amount of beta imp chumps and suckers out there that are so thirsty they will agree with everything this advanced post wall queen said, thinking it's going to get them some. The thirst always wins. I think I will close this out with a PSA to those beta white knights out there. No matter how much you grovel, she doesn't respect you, and she sure isn't going to sleep with you. I'm just saying, if you enjoy this audit, click on the video in the end screen for more content. If you would like to support the channel, please follow the link in the description to donate to our beer fund. Or like, subscribe, and share this video on other social media platforms. If you agree or disagree with anything about this audit, please let us know in the comments. I'm going to leave this audit right here. I'll see all of you in the next episode.